Whether you've been blogging for a long or a short time, it's easy to look at other bloggers and think, why do I bother? They are doing it so much better than me. I should just give up. Now a lot of people will tell you, just don't listen to those voices, just ignore those voices. But I have a better strategy. Hi and welcome to the Productive Blogging YouTube channel. My name is Olga Garno and today we are going to be looking at how to deal with comparisonitis. So a lot of people will tell you just ignore those voices. I don't think that's necessarily the best strategy. I think if you actually listen to those voices just a little bit and try and engage with those voices, you can actually get a much better outcome. So the next time you hear that negative voice of comparisonitis in your head, do this instead. Number one, voice out loud. What actually is the problem? It's easy to just kind of look at something and feel down about it without ever really thinking through what it is you feel down about. So next time you feel that comparisonitis, you feel those negative voices, stop and think, what is it exactly that's bothering me? Try and voice it out loud if you want. So for example, say you're scrolling through Instagram and it's just making you feel worse and worse and worse. Stop and think, why is this making me feel bad? What exactly is it that's making me feel bad? Maybe it's everyone else has got so many more followers than me, or maybe it's everybody else's feed looks so much better than mine, or maybe oh, she always gets so many more comments than me. Whatever it is, actually try and work out what the problem is. Number two, decide, is this actually a problem that you really care about? Is it actually going to make a difference to you if you had that thing that that other person has? So if you had a hundred times more followers on Instagram, would that actually make a big difference to you? If you had a, a prettier looking feed, would that make a difference to something you really care about? If you had more comments on your Instagram posts, would that actually make a difference to your bottom line? I don't know about you, but in my experience, having a ton of followers on Instagram and having a bunch of comments on Instagram doesn't necessarily translate into traffic on my blog or money in my purse. Or maybe you're looking at someone's blog one day and you're just thinking, oh, I will never be as good as this person. Okay, so you first of all stop yourself and think, what is actually the problem? Maybe you're looking at them and thinking, oh, their email, um, their opt-in freebie and their opt-in boxes is just so much better than mine. Okay, so will that actually make a difference to something you care about? Well, maybe in this instance, actually it would. You know, if you had better opt-in boxes, if you had a better opt-in freebie, then you'd be able to get more subscribers onto your list. You'd be able to capture more of those people who, who may be coming from Google and, and stop them just disappearing and never coming back. You need to be able to get them on your list and, and, and be able to send them emails every week. You'd be able to build up that no like and trust factor. And if you have a product to sell, you'd probably be able to sell more of your product because you can sell more of your product if you have a bigger email list. So in that case, yeah, maybe it would make a difference to things that you would care about. It's really important to actually do this step, to actually think, would having that thing really make a difference to, to me, to my bottom line, to the things that I care about? You might find, having done that exercise, you realise, do you know what? Actually, I don't need that thing. That isn't an important thing in my life. But if after having gone through this exercise, you think, yeah, actually, that is something I would really like. Move on to step three. Okay, so step three is asking yourself, how do I get there? So have a look at where that person is right now and have a look at where you are right now and think, okay, how do I get from where I am to where that person is? Actually think about what steps you would need to take to get from where you are right now to where you want to be, where that person is who's spurred, who's created that comparisonitis in your head. Okay, so to take the example of that email freebie, think, okay, what steps would I need to make to, to, to get to where that other blogger 
um, is with their email marketing. So for example, you might think, okay, well, the first thing I need to do is I make, need to make a really good email freebie. You know, that was the thing that triggered my comparisonitis was the fact that that blogger had such a good email freebie. Okay, how do I create one of those? And maybe that means you need to do a bit of research, try and find out how to create a really good email freebie and then you need to create that thing and maybe you need to brush up on your design skills or maybe you even outsource that and can get a designer to design you a really good email freebie maybe you need to change email service provider and find an email service provider that uh, will allow you to create really attractive opt-in boxes whatever it is think carefully through the steps how would i realistically get from where I am now to where where that blogger is and then once you've thought through those steps then actually make a plan of action actually plan okay when am I going to do this when am I going to make this happen don't just have this sitting kind of as a maybe one day I might do that actually plan it into your life how am I going to get from A to B maybe you decide I'm going to work on this project for 20 minutes a day just 20 minutes a day I'm going to work towards my goal of one day having a better opt-in freebie and a better opt-in box Maybe you're going to think, no, I'm just going to put everything else aside and I'm going to spend one or two days and I am just going to blitz it. It doesn't really matter how you do this. It matters that you do it. It matters that you actually take that, that action plan and put it into action. I hope you will agree that this is a much better strategy than just ignoring those voices of comparisonitis. Actually listen to those voices of comparisonitis and ask yourself, what is it that is bothering me? Ask yourself, do I really care about that thing? Do I really want that thing? Is it going to make a real difference in my life? And then ask yourself, okay, how am I going to make this a reality? And then go and do that thing. If this has helped you at all, I would love it if you would drop me a little comment down below and let me know how it has helped you. And if it has helped you, I would love it if you would also give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.